What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. We are going to be reviewing the IG500 from iZeeger. This is a 4K, 360-degree view, 2K live streaming trail camera. That's right. 2024, you can now live stream from the woods. What a time to be alive. And not only can you live stream from the woods, but it's also solar powered. Now, what do you get in the box? Obviously, you get the camera, you get the solar panel, both of which come with brackets. Now, this is mounted to, this gets mounted to a tree, which I don't love. I don't like screwing uh, screws into a tree. I prefer if it was a strap, but this is what they came up with. This is what they think it should be used with. Personally, I would like to see a strap instead of having to carry a drill into the woods. It comes with a SIM card and it also comes with a micro SD card. So I had this camera out for about two or three weeks, testing it out. I wanted to give it a long time, you know, see, see what the bugs are. Let's see how this thing actually works. Now I mounted it into the tree right away. Tons of deer, squirrels, you name it, it was on it. The camera did end up dying and I didn't realize it until I went to go pull the camera that I mounted the solar panel in an area where it's gonna get a lot of shade. So this is best used in an area where it's gonna get plenty of all day sunlight. So that way you can charge these batteries up that are built inside of it. So believe it or not, you can actually use your phone and you can tilt and pan this thing and you can speak through it. There's a couple times, there's a little spike buck behind my house here. And I asked it, hey, what are you doing? And uh, the deer definitely heard me because it scared the crap out of it. It has a 4X digital zoom. Now, when you are live streaming from the camera, that is in 2K, which is still ridiculously great. Um, I had no problems with that. I was able to look around basically whenever I wanted to and tilt around and see what was going on in my backyard here. But let's get into the important part here, the review. Let's see what the footage looks like. I think that's probably the biggest thing that people normally worry about is, what's the footage look like? You can have a great idea for a camera, and if it ain't got good footage, you might as well just not make it. So I have the SD card in my computer here. So, like I said, squirrel right here. Squirrel there coming in. I, I did feed the deer this summer, and... Uh, He's probably trying to pick up any remnants. There's nothing there at this point, but he's trying. Give him credit. Now here comes a deer. He's coming in, check it out. Footage isn't the greatest. It's not like I'm shooting, like right now I'm shooting on my phone. It's not the greatest. And this is right off, it honestly looked really good on my phone. Um, this is right off the SD card. So let's see what else. I want to try to find some kind of a nighttime video okay this is the resident buck that uh we have in our backyard here the nighttime video it's it's not that bad like you can clearly make out what that deer is i believe he's a six or a seven pointer he's coming in check out who else has been Coming into the salt lick. Really, the camera performed, as far as I know, flawlessly. I did have another camera. Oh, here's a raccoon coming through. We have a couple of those that hang out in the backyard. Yeah, like I said, a couple of them. There's two of them there. Just working their way through. But in all honesty, the camera performed just as it should throughout the time I had it out, which was two or three weeks. And uh, I'm sure had I mounted it correctly in an area where it's not gonna get shaded, it probably never would have died. That's not a big deal. Obviously, you know, I learned my lesson. Make sure it gets mostly all day sunlight. The whole solar panel thing, it's still kind of new. I know it seems weird to say that, but it is relatively new. Now, as far as the plans go for like your data plan, definitely was a little confusing to me as far as how the data plans work. 
they do it by the amount of data you're going to use. They don't, don't do it by the amount of pictures or videos you're going to use. It's based off of data. So this is data driven. So figuring that out, how much I, I could use in a month. Obviously, I could figure that out. Given enough time, I'd be able to figure out how much data I have to use. But just starting, I just started with the lowest one just because I didn't know how much data I'd use in a month. It was definitely a little confusing um, when I was looking at the plans. They're still rel very cheap. There wasn't anything that was super expensive or anything like that. But like I said, I would personally use this as a security camera on my cabin. Especially because I could get that the solar panel up on the roof out of the way mount this uh the camera under an overhang man that's a tongue twister and uh it would probably work better like that for me it's it's not maybe if you want field edges this would probably work really well for field edges you'd be able to keep track of uh the sunlight a little bit better but you don't have to use it as sunlight you can run this in the woods without it being plugged in you just have to recharge it. it doesn't take physical batteries you would have to go out there and charge it but there it is the iZeeker ig500 it's really cool how far trail cameras are coming especially being able to live view exactly what's happening if you're going to use this as a in a hunting application it definitely will serve its purpose i'm excited to be able to use this as, as a security camera and who knows you might also get wildlife on your security camera so it's really, really amazing to see how far technology is getting in the hunting world when it comes to what our trail cameras are turning into. They're turning into live feeds. It's pretty cool. So thank you to Eager for sending the, the camera out for me to review. I appreciate it. If you guys have any questions, don't be afraid to ask down in the comments. Until then, I'll see you next time. Peace.